The US presidential election is the hottest topic in the world right now. People across the globe are watching closely as every vote is counted in the battle between Trump and Harris. Even more concerning are the allegations of voter fraud. In Laurel County, Kentucky, a voter claimed to have selected former President Donald Trump, but the voting machine allegedly registered the vote for Vice President Kamala Harris. The spokesperson for the Kentucky Department of State said that the issue stemmed from voter error. Our office has received no complaints of vote switching, and such rumors have long been debunked. We contacted the county clerk and confirmed voter error, with the voting machine functioning correctly. The year was 2020. Amidst a pandemic that had swept across the world, Americans were lining up at polling stations, many others mailing in their ballots, participating in what was arguably the most unique election in recent history. As the results came in, they were soon overshadowed by accusations. Allegations that this election had been tampered with, that millions of mail-in votes were fraudulent, and that the very essence of democracy was under threat. The world watched as the capital, a symbol of stability, was stormed on January 6th, a stark reminder of the fragility of trust. What happens when people lose faith in their democracy? But this wasn't the first time a presidential election in the United States faced controversy. Just four years earlier, in 2016, the world witnessed another uproar. An election filled with discussions not just about candidates and campaigns, but about espionage, hacking, and foreign interference. Accusations flew as US intelligence agencies pointed towards Russia, alleging that they had meddled in the democratic process, that the entire legitimacy of the election was at stake. The notion of a foreign power influencing a presidential election sent shockwaves, making it clear that the fight for power had crossed borders and become a global issue. Go back further to 1960. The election between John F. Kennedy and Richard Nixon was one of the closest in American history. Kennedy emerged victorious, but behind the celebrations, whispers persisted. Accusations that votes in key states like Illinois and Texas were tampered with that political machines played a part in determining the outcome. In Chicago, Mayor Richard Daley was said to have used his influence to ensure victory for Kennedy, casting doubt on the fairness of the entire process. It was a controversy shrouded in secrecy and suspicion, yet one that echoes through the pages of history. We look back, way back, to see if the disputes of our time have their roots in the ancient past. Let us draw parallels, not just across centuries, but across millennia as we explore the power struggles of some of history's most legendary civilizations. Let us start with ancient Rome, a republic that eventually crumbled under the weight of internal conflict and power struggles. When we look at the tumultuous year of 49 BC, we find Julius Caesar crossing the Rubicon, defying the Senate and igniting a civil war. This was not just a military maneuver, it was a direct challenge to the legitimacy of Roman leadership. The Senate viewed Caesar's actions as treasonous, much like the Capitol's defenders viewed the events of January 6th. It was an act meant to claim what he believed was rightfully his, bypassing the traditional mechanisms of governance. And then, let us look at ancient Egypt, where legitimacy was often intertwined with divine intervention. When rival claims to the throne surfaced, it was not uncommon for contenders to seek validation from the priesthood and oracles. The priests at Karnak were the ultimate arbiters of legitimacy, a role not unlike the Supreme Court in the 2000 election between George W. Bush and Al Gore, which saw the legal system become the decider of political fate. In ancient Egypt, those who controlled the narrative of divine approval controlled power. Have we really moved on from the ancient world, or are we simply repeating the same cycles with new names and new players? Each time an election ends in controversy, it challenges the foundational belief that power transitions should be peaceful, fair, and unquestionable. Stay with us as we dive deep into history, exploring the connections between the political turmoil of today and the timeless struggle for control and legitimacy that has echoed throughout human civilization. Because if history teaches us anything, it's that power never changes hands without a fight.